This video focuses on inscribed angle and its intercepted arc plus some examples. What is the relationship between a central angle, an inscribed angle, and the intercepted arc? First, let us identify the angle, the intercepted arc, and how to find the measure. So from the figure on the right, first angle, angle MET, its intercepted arc is arc MT. The other angle, angle MPT, its intercepted arc is also arc MT. How do we find the measure of angle MPT? MPT or angle MPT is a central angle because its vertex is the center. To find its measure, it's equivalent to the measure of its intercepted arc. Then, measure of angle MPT equals the measure of arc MT. How do we find the measure of angle MET? Angle MET is an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle. And again, its intercepted arc is also MT or arc MT. To find the measure of angle M, E, T, a theorem states that the degree measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one half the degree measure of its intercepted arc. Therefore, the measure of angle M, E, T equals the measure of angle or the measure of arc MT divided by 2. We can also find the measure of angle MET based on the measure of angle MPT. Since they share the same arc, You can compute for the measure of angle MET by using the measure of the central angle. That is, the measure of angle MPT divided by 2. From the previous theorem, a corollary states that an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. From this figure, in circle I, segment SD or segment DS is a diameter. We know that a diameter is a special cord that passes through the center. In addition to that, angle DOS, DOS is inscribed in arc SOD or DOS. Also, angle DOS 
intercepts are SPD or DPS, which is also a semicircle, which is equivalent to exactly 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle DOS or SOD is equal to the measure of arc SPD over 2, that is 180 degrees divided by 2, equals 90 degrees, which is the measure of a right angle. Another corollary states that in a circle, if inscribed angles intercept the same arc or congruent arcs, then the angles are congruent. So let us identify the inscribed angles with their intercepted arc from this figure. The first inscribed angle is angle SAT or SAT or TAS. Its intercepted arc is arc ST or arc TS. Another inscribed angle in this figure is angle SIT or TIS. Its intercepted arc is arc ST also. The other inscribed angle in this figure is angle set or angle SET or TES. Its intercepted arc is also arc ST or TS. These three intercepted or inscribed angles, rather, have a common intercepted arc, which is arc ST or TS. Therefore, the measure of angle SAT is congruent to the measure of angle sit is also congruent to the measure of angle set. Let's answer this example. In circle A, segment DA or AD is a diameter. If the measure of angle DCB is 27 degrees, find the measure of arc DB. Arc DB is the intercepted arc of the inscribed angle DCB. A theorem states that the degree measure of the inscribed angle is one half the degree measure of its intercepted arc. So from that, we can compute for arc db, which is twice the measure of its inscribed angle. Thus, it's two times the measure of angle dcb, which is 54, because that is 27 times 2. Number two, the measure of angle dob or angle DOB or BOD. This angle is an, a central angle because its vertex is the center. We notice that its intercepted arc is the same as with the inscribed angle DCB, which is arc DB. 
there are two methods in computing for the measure of angle dog using the inscribed angle DCB or its intercepted arc. So from the inscribed angle, that is 2 times the measure of DCB or the measure of angle or arc DB, which is 54. Number 3. Find the measure of arc AB. All right. Arc AB is part of semicircle DBA. Arc DB is equivalent to 54 degrees, so we need to look for AB by, since a semicircle is equivalent to 180 degrees, then It's 180 degrees minus the measure of arc DB, which is, 100, which is 54. Therefore, arc AB is equal to 126. Number four, angle CDA. All right. Angle CDA is also an inscribed angle. Its intercepted arc is arc CA or AC, which measures 100 degrees. An inscribed angle's measure is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Therefore, it's 100 divided by 2, which is equal to 50. Number 5. Measure of angle CAD or CAD. Angle CAD CAD. Its intercepted arc is arc CD. ACD or arc ACD is a semicircle. Arc CA is 100 so by subtracting it from 180, therefore arc CD is 80. We can now compute for angle CAD. It's one half its intercepted arc. So it's 80 divided by 2, which is 40. Last one. Measure of angle ACD. ACD. Angle ACD is inscribed in arc ACD, which is a semicircle. Therefore, angle ACD is a right angle, which is equivalent to 90 degrees. That's it. I hope you've learned something from this. Other videos related to circles is also available or are also available in this channel. Bye!